yo what's up with her like what's up with her like who that so he like oh chill bro that's me that's me that's me i've been a bad pakiana and i'm still winning pakiana percocets papiana killing everybody beat thank you next ariana you gonna have to give me tapiana if you trying to get some slapiana hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm sierra if you're new here this is hey welcome to the family you guys so i have mostly a video in about two weeks so you already know what that means i'm back again with another story time today's story time is relatively serious with a sprinkle of comedy this story time is going to be about the one time my bro tried to smash y'all like he really tried to smash but he thought he was gonna smash i don't know what dude thought it was gonna happen but this ain't that and that ain't this period okay so if you're new here subscribe right now let me give y'all some background before i really get into the day of so me and my best friend had these group of guy friends that we were super close to from like junior year to like freshman year in college we were always together super good guys like they always sure protective ones around them we never really went without and we was in a presence like super good guys <sighs> however 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 when you're hanging around guys as a girl i don't know if it was just me but i feel like i always know something attracted to me i always know i ain't gonna say shit but we know <laughs> so um the particular dude that i'm talking about i'm gonna call him tyrese me and tyrese never really had like a personal friendship outside of the group like everything was always a group setting me and tyrese have never chilled alone we have never really like stayed on the phone kicking like that was never a uh, that never really happened is because one i had a boyfriend the entire time me and him was cool like i've always had a boyfriend he never really got the chance to play his cards on me and even if he did try to like do too much it shut down real quick i never really gave him teas that I wanted to, you know, do the do. Like, I've never gave that energy. So, this story time is literally irritates the shit out of me. I started my channel January 15th of 2019. Around that time, I had I was very reserved. I had just got out of a relationship. So, I was definitely going through it. My girls was away at school. I'm back in the city by myself. Going through a lot. Like, a lot was just happening. I spent a lot of time with myself. And just, you know, push on my videos. Get back to feeling like myself. It was one night. He had called me and we were on the phone catching up. I'm just like, hey, you know, he's just checking on me. And I'm like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So he was realizing that I'm spending a lot of time on myself. So he asked me like, yo, let's link, let's go get food or whatever. Like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. And the reason why I really didn't know if I wanted to link him was because one, we've never linked outside of the group before. Two, I know how he is and I prefer not to be all alone with him. Not on no like creepy shit, but more so because like Tyrese is a very aggressive flirt. I already know A, you're attracted to me. B, you know that I'm single now. You gonna try something with me. I know. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to be that girl. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go. Okay, so that happened Saturday night. Sunday night, he comes to pick me up. So Sunday comes, I got cute. I'm like, oh, I got cute, whatever. Put cute little outfit on, had my itty bitties out. <laughs> he comes to pick me up and his sister's in the car. So I'm like, okay, great, like that's fine. I'm like, she was a little bit younger than us, but like, whatever. He called another one of the guys in the group, like, oh, let's link. But he was busy because he was with his girl. So now it was just the two of us. His sister got dropped off back home because she went to go chill with her friends. Like, we was just by ourselves inevitably. At this point, I'm like, you know what? Let me just see where the date goes. Like, everything is fine. I just keep rolling with the punches. The first thing he like, he wanted to do was smoke. You guys know, I smoke. But I won't really say I'm a smoker. <laughs> but I smoke. So, I have a guy friend. See, my best friend. Like, they be having, like, <laughs> they be having it on them. Okay, y'all? So, I already knew when he saw that smoke. I'm like, okay, we got to be here for a minute. <laughs> So he rolls the first one and we smoke and we vibe and catching up. Everything is cool. Like he nothing is rubbing me the wrong way. I'm having a good time. I'm like, okay, cool. So then after the first flip is done, he let us roll another one. I'm a lightweight. I'm lightweight. Like a couple of poles, I be smacked. Like we rolled another one. So by the time we were done the second flip, y'all, I was <laughs> like i was smacked i was so smacked it was ridiculous let me tell you where strike one kind of rubbed me the wrong 
when my breakup becomes a conversation to talk about right and at the time my breakup was still new like i had i was like probably like three months post breakup and th around this time i was trying to get back into feeling like myself and i really wasn't there yet but i was on my way there but i was still super protective about like what information i told people or how like i decided to explain myself to people i don't know why i was so weird about it but like i just was not comfortable talking about it with just anybody because i was like you know me and my baby back together now but like at the time <laughs> i'm just thinking like i don't want to talk about my boyfriend on the other because i don't want to talk about it like i don't want to talk about it <laughs> so and my demeanor kind of changed a little bit because i really do want to talk about it but i know he's just trying to be like you know a present friend so he started asking me what happened i'm telling him what happened and he started going into this tangent y'all know girls y'all know when a guy always wanted you and you find someone he, he he doing all this extra shit like i don't know why you was fucking with that nigga anyways like I don't even know what you've seen in him anyways. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, because I've been on my way from since you met me. So you felt like you could have said that bitch. Like <laughs> that's one. And then two, I'm trying to figure out like why he's so comfortable telling me this now. Like, just because you break up with somebody does not mean that you have to bad mouth them or you have to let people talk shit about them. I don't like shit like that because the duration of my entire relationship when I was with my boyfriend, he never really said nothing out of pocket about my boyfriend. Now that he know that we not together, now he got stuff to say. So that was the first thing for me. I'm just like, okay, I don't know why he's so passionate. The second thing that had me like, oh, this ain't that. That ain't this, y'all. Oh, my God. So we in the car. And I, right after, like, the car she starts winding down about my breakup, dude decides to tell me, like, oh, like, don't even worry about that, nigga, because I could fuck you way better than you could ever fuck you. Who the fuck are you? Excuse me. Who the I don't know what dude is talking about. I don't know why he would. I don't know why he thought that was appropriate to say to me. <laughs> and it's just funny to me because just like I want to assume because we were both smacked. Like he was just saying what was on his mind. But like I really don't know where that came from. And from the time he said that, my whole demeanor about how this day was going went downhill. I said, okay, this is exactly why. This is why. <laughs> but I let that slide. I said, okay, cool. That's strike two. Don't get to three, all right? One of his men's school had access to Scythe. So he gonna tell him, yeah. Dude called you and asked you to Scythe. You, we already smoked twice. Like, I don't know why you agreed to that was one. But, okay. The second thing that had irritating was the fact that, like, I don't notice people. Like, I hate when people bring me places that I don't know where I'm at. And I don't know who crypt I'm in. I just hate not knowing my surroundings. You never know, like... Who affiliated with who you don't ever know. Like I need to know where you ring me and someone be at. Alright. So we get to dude's house, right? Oh my god. We get to his house and as we getting off the car, Tyrese decides to like put his arm like around my waist. Y'all, Tyrese has never in his life ever like maneuvered this way with me. And I'm it's very subtle things. He's acting like I'm his girl. And I'm like why 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 so we get out the car he's holding my waist with i've been walking to the crib and i'm visibly uncomfortable but i don't want to make it a ting i really didn't want to make it an awkward ting so i'm like whatever so we get to um his friend house we walk in it was a super nice crib or whatever so we got inside his room men are just so dirty like i <laughs> the room looked like it hasn't been cleaned since the first time they moved in like no cap and for him to know that he he invited someone to his crib and didn't even tidy up, which is, you know, alarming to me. But, like, when I had came in, I don't think he told his man that he had a girl with him. So, when he's seeing me, he's a little bit like, oh, like, hi. He goes upstairs. We chill and we chit chat. And I'm not really saying too much for a couple of reasons. One, I was very much uncomfortable. I was sitting on this folding chair and the floor. I didn't, I was putting my bag down. I put, I was, yo, I had, literally had my legs crossed. I had my jacket still on, my purse on my shoulder. I was not <laughs> so then his friend like oh like you could get comfortable like you could relax so i'm like you know what see, let me stop being so like that i took off my jacket right put my jacket down and i had put my purse on my kneecap and i'm just sitting there we chilling with whatever, whatever he puts on a movie so now i'm getting a little like okay like i'm ready to go i'll be ready to go before i even really get there like before we got to the crib i wanted to leave <laughs> so like i'm sitting there and 
I'm visibly getting like, okay, I'm ready to get the fuck, okay? Because he put on a movie, we watching some scary movie. I'm already snapped as that. And the movie is busting my brain. This room is disgusting. Like, it was just, uh, okay. And another thing I forgot to mention, he had sisters. He had two friends downstairs talking. So I'm coming in with a nigga to see their, her brother. And it's just me and two niggas going up to the room. It looked crazy on print. Like, it was just crazy to me. I'm like, oh my God. Like, when I get high, y'all, I start to overthink everything. So maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. But to me, I'm like, this looks so bad. Like, what? Like, why am I here? I don't even know these people. Like, what? So he was a dealer. So he had his own little staff. You know, like, how much people have to put up. Because it's just like, whatever. So then he had asked him what's up with her. But he said, nah, I got it. Mind you, I <laughs> know how shit, y'all. But I don't pay for weed. Like, if I'm with anybody... <laughs> Pretty much just don't pay for weed. <laughs> Pretty much just do not pay for weed. You pay for weed, baby. You need some sun. I don't know. Pretty much just don't pay for weed, okay? Period. Ain't nobody either. Period. <laughs> well, he likes she good, she good. So we sitting down, he started rolling. At this point, I don't know if it's just me, but when it comes to smoking, I like good hygiene. I cannot smoke with dirty people. Like, because this room is dirty, I just assume everything else was dirty in this crib too. So watching him roll on this little table, I'm just like, ew, everything just ills me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm mad bougie. When it comes to like shit like that, like, I can't. I'm ready to get the fuck. We're all smoking. And everything is going good. As I'm watching the movie, like, I'm peeking from the corner of my eye. His friend keeps staring at me. His friend wasn't ugly, but by all means, if you're a cute guy and have bad hygiene or bad, like, you know, like, you just don't clean up after yourself, it's the automatic motherfucking no. But the nigga kept staring at me. So I'm glancing from the side of my eye, I'm putting on my lip gloss and looking at me. I'm, I start to zoom down a little bit and now I'm just, you know, on my phone or whatever. And I peeped that he whispered something to Tyrese. And I'm hearing, like, what he's saying, y'all. He's not even whispering for real, he's just, like, talking really low. So he like, yo, what's up with her? Like, what's up with her? Like, who that? So he like, oh, chill, bro. That's me. That's me. That's me. Y'all, it took everything in. I, I, I really didn't want to do it to him. I really didn't want to embarrass him. So I just kind of went with it. Like, he said, that's him. I said, okay, cool. Like, what's up? Like, just give me a body here. I've never seen people ever again. Like, <laughs> I started giving Tyrese a little nod. Like, I'm ready to go. I am big snack. Like, big, 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 big snack. Super snack. Like, super snack. <laughs> So we're in the car and we start talking again. We start driving and we got to a point, I think it was like literally probably like pushing like six, seven now, I'm starting. He like, oh, let me just roll this last one and we'll go get some food. So we had parts in this spot and he was like, get in the back. <laughs> y'all, if y'all know, y'all know. This ain't that, and that ain't this. He like, not like that, dummy. Like, I want to roll, and I don't want to roll, like, in the front seat. Like, if cops is coming, whatever. So, we like, let's get in the back. So, I'm like, okay, nigga. Like, okay. So, we get in the back, and he start rolling again. I'm getting a little agitated because he just keeps smoking and smoking and smoking and smoking. And I don't know what the fuck it was about. In my head, I kind of just felt like he was trying to get me mad hot just to see what would happen you don't have you don't even smoke as much on a red with, with the other guys like why are we doing all that like you know and i feel like just a tip if you're a guy watching this video minimize how much you try to get a girl drunk or how when you're chilling because it can give the wrong impression like he probably didn't have no like ill motive or whatever but like the fact that he was really like you know anticipating getting how so much with me I just never understood like what you think, what you think gonna happen after I get snacked. Like what, what what peak are you trying to obtain? Like where are we trying to get to? Like, I don't know, you know. So we in the back, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Let me just get the um the orgs and start playing music. So we playing music now. We vibing. Mood had went from irritated to like pleasantly okay now. Like now I'm fine. I'm playing my music. I'm bumping. Like everything's fine. We start listening to African music. <laughs> we start listening to African music. So we in the back, and you know. He lighting his breath, he having a good time, whatever, whatever, until he starts to get closer to me. He's school next to me, so now I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and, you know, we laugh, we talk, whatever, I try to school away, he's getting closer, so I'm just like, here we go. Let me tell you what I had on. I had on, like, a little crop, little sweater, right? So, 
crop little sort of some high waist jeans and he puts his hand like by my like um my waist area in the car i'm just like please stop like please <laughs> my head so i move his hand and then he put his hand around my neck like he tried to choke me on some very much i listen to twitter type stuff or twitter is my sex life kind of stuff and he tries to choke me and you guys know like when you're not into a guy and he's doing certain things it literally pisses you the fuck off like i was getting so tight i'm just like why are you doing that so then he's he's like choked me or whatever not hard nothing that i'm crying but like he has his, his hands around my neck and he like i'm like tyree stop like tyree stop he like oh you know you like it relax i try to laugh it off i'm just like tyree stop Stop. <laughs> so then he lets go of me and it's kind of awkward at first because i'm just like why do you do shit to make your vibe so weird like everything is just so weird every time you do it like why do you keep doing it like i just don't get it right? after he takes his hands off my neck it's like mad awkward and i start playing music again so i start playing music again and then he's really feeling that vibe and he leans over and kisses me on my cheek it happens so fast did I get it? I didn't get time to react. How <laughs> to react? Like it was so. I was so annoyed when he kissed me on my cheek. I'm like, like, why would you do that? Like, <laughs> but it happened already, so there was nothing I could do about it. So I'm just like, at this point, just take me home. It was that point in my head when I realized, please just take me home. Cause I, I really don't want to be here no more. But I'm trying to roll with it. Cause I'm really not trying to be that bitch. I don't know what it is, but whenever I feel very uncomfortable. It's hard for me to speak. Like, I don't know what it is. I just be thinking in my head, like, there's no way that I'm visibly this comfortable. You don't know I'm uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. It just weirds me. So then, yeah, now you have went to McDonald's to get food. We in the parking lot, and I'm trying to just keep it cute, eat so he can go. And he decides to kiss me, like, mid, mid bite. Like, I'm eating my chicken nuggets. He tries to kiss me, like on my lips like kiss me like i <sighs> y'all i'm so annoyed to about it again because like why i weave it tyrese what are you doing like come on he like why well, i'm acting like that i'm like what do you mean why am i acting like that like why are you acting like that so now it's really awkward now like back in the back seat it was awkward but now in the front seat it's very awkward now because he tried to kiss me on my lips now i'm so confused if i didn't want you touching me in the back seat why would you think i wanted to kiss in the front seat and on top of that the timing was just really strange like i'm eating my chicken nuggets why are you touching me <laughs> why are you touching me i weaved his kiss um i am mentally in the back of my head realized okay this friendship is over and i'm gonna get into like why for how i felt he stayed in that parking lot for like all of like seven minutes and didn't really speak it was so weird y'all and then he finally be like you want to go home now i'm like yeah take me home so the entire ride home this is the funny part <laughs> the entire ride home I'm not really saying anything, but I'm feeling bad, y'all. Oh, my God. I was feeling bad for a couple of reasons. One, I felt bad that, like, he really liked me on some shit. Like, I don't know. I mean, I was always aware that he was attracted to me. But, like, I've never seen this side of him this, like, overt in my face ever. Like, I've never really felt that vibe from him ever. So, for him to act like that and for me to be dubbing him crazy the entire day <laughs> i just felt so bad and it got to the point that i'm in the, i'm in the front seat y'all i'm so snack still but i'm looking at him and i'm trying in all of my truest to look at him and see if i'm getting a little wet to see if i really think he's attractive like i'm trying to see like what it is or what it's not and y'all he tyrus is not ugly like he's far from ugly he's not ugly. he is giving very much african prince six five tall dark and handsome pearly white like he's not ugly i've never been i'm not attracted to him like that. that's not that's my bro that's my niece i do not want to i don't want to sleep with tyrese i don't okay but I, i'm literally next to him trying to look at him to see like you know y'all i even did one of these like you don't even touch back at your boyfriend head like while he's driving something i even did one of those and like it was still blank like my little hoo-ha said no me out <laughs> <laughs> no ma'am okay so i'm definitely feeling bad another reason why i felt bad is because he out here spent all his money on not only weed but gas and food i'm just like oh god like i feel so bad like i don't know what he thought was gonna happen when he picked me up it did not go as planned <laughs> in all actuality we are friends 
I don't owe you shit. I've never given you the idea that we was gonna smash, we was supposed to smash. I don't give you the idea that I wanted to smash or I like you like that. I've never gave you no hints like that. You get what I'm saying? So I don't even know why I was feeling so bad, but I did. When he had driven from my house and it's time to go, like I got out of the car and like, bye, I said bye, and he just drove off. Okay, like you could have seen me walk inside my building, like okay, like and I knew he was tight. And the next day we didn't speak. I think he texted me the day after the um next. I'm sorry that made you feel uncomfortable. And it's like, oh, it's no problem, like, it's okay. And instantly when I said it was no problem and it's okay, I felt like I should have said more. I'm the type of person, when something rubs me the wrong way or I feel some kind of way about a situation, I really need to take time and sleep on it and really sit on it and think about it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was getting so tight because, for one, I was really, like, insulted that he thought that he could just pick me up and roll me up and feed me a little McDonald's and thought that this was going to be that. Like, I was really offended that, one, we're friends. We've been platonic friends since day one. Why would you scoop me in the first time that we link individually that you want to pull up on that kind of timing? Like, I'm not a kill. I'm not a girl that you just met and want to smash. I'm not a girl that you just, you know, like, I'm not one of them. Like, never been one of them at that. So why would you pick me up and come with this type of energy? It was so odd to me. And I was giving him a benefit of the doubt, like he was high. But like, at the same time, these actions seemed like repressed feelings. It didn't, it didn't really feel like, oh, we was high and I'm feeling the moment. Like, no, like you've been wanting to do shit like that. Like, it's a matter of getting you alone. I hated that shit. Two, um, I was really sitting down and thinking about it. And like, y'all, I was really scared in the backseat. I'm not going to cap y'all. I know I joke a lot. And I like, you know, I'm a, I'm a natural flirt. But in the back seat, I was borderline scared because one, I'm like, okay, he's giving a vibe that he want to like smash all day. Like giving a vibe, giving a vibe. He has a big body car. It's not like a small car. He has a big body car. So we in the back seat. And I'm just like, y'all, like at this point, like he's 6'5". I'm 5'8". This nigga is going to like... If he really wanted to, he was one of those kind of niggas, like, he could have really did whatever he wanted to do to me in that backseat, if he really wanted to. And, like, to be a woman in a position where you really realize, like, wow, I'm really powerless, that shit will make you feel all kind of ways. Like, I really felt crazy. I was like, yo, like, I can't fight him over, even if I wanted to. Like, if he wants to turn this up a notch, he can. And that's crazy to me. I'm just like, as a man that I call a friend, you should never have me feeling like that. It's like, y'all, like, this group of guy friends that we had has never made us feel uncomfortable to that degree ever. It was weird to me because even when, like, out of the group of guys that I was friends with, he wasn't the only one that was attracted to me, that wanted to talk to me. Like, he was not the only one. And the guy that did want to talk to me, he knew about it. So, like, the whole day... I'm sitting there just like, yo, like, guys are really fake. Guys are really fake. Like, not to say that I was ever going to deal with his friend, because that was not me at all. But, like, you know, I knew. <laughs> I got into, like a, like, a little argument about me before. So, I'm trying to sit up here and, and look and analyze it. Like, why are you still trying to talk to a girl that your man's want to talk to? Granted, the girl ain't talking to either one of y'all. But I feel like as a respect thing, you should respect your mans. Like, if he told you, like, yo, bro, I like her, like, why would you do that? Why would you come back with the same energy? Like, that was strange to me. All around, I'm like, you know what, I'm good off him. I don't really want to talk to him for a minute. Like, get off of it. That passes by, and I didn't tell him my best friend. My best friend thought it was crazy. Like, that's weird. Why would he do that? And I'm telling another guy in the group. T was upset with Tyrese too because he was just like, "Why would you do that? Like, what? We've never been now. Like, you're gonna ruin the dynamic of the friendship. Cause we've never, we've never been like that, you know." And I'm just like, "Don't say nothing. It's not that serious no more." But like, that's just what happened. Fast forward to 2020. Here yeah, y'all. <laughs> Literally a year later, a year later, dude texts me on some shit like, "Oh." With the same argument, like, oh, like, what's up with you? Like, let's link. I'm going to come scoop you. Da, 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 da. And the way he was asking to link me was just inappropriate. One, because he knew me and my boyfriend got back together. He's very much aware that, like, I'm back with my boyfriend. And the way he said it was just odd to me. And it was so, it was way more off putting to me this time around. I'm just like, why would you ask me the same shit again? And you literally smoked me the first time I ever linked you by myself. Why would you come back with the same argument? Like, it was weird to me. Like, it was a weird experience. Um, After that happened, I decided to cut the friendship off. 
just because the moment that you make me feel uncomfortable or you make me feel like I have something to worry about around you as a man, I know I'm going to see you. Two, I felt like it's disrespectful to my relationship because you cannot be my friend and you don't respect my boyfriend. It just don't fly over here. I don't play them games. I just, I'm very particular about how I let people close to me and you know, who I let affect things in my relationship because my boyfriend ain't like you not one bit. So it was just cold turkey at that point. And I'm okay with having guy friends. But to an extent, like I have to, I have to be comfortable in the friendship. The moment you make me feel like it's more than that, I gotta go abort because baby, if I wanted to fuck with you, I would fuck with you. I would not have you in a friend zone. Like niggas be in the friend zone for three years plus and then try to fool for you. Like baby, <laughs> what that say? Huh? What did that just say? If I ain't let him hit the pussy by now, then that nigga lame if he's still oh. waiting. Okay, that's cool though. Like so yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's story time. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video for me, comment below how you would have handled it, if you think it was like, I was being dramatic, or if, if not, whatever the case is, let's talk about it in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So many